This article covers the phonology of modern Cologne as spoken in the city of Cologne. Varieties spoken outside of Cologne are only briefly covered where appropriate. Historic precedent versions are not considered. There are slight pronunciation variations in Colonian which can be considered regional within the city, and some others seemingly more reflecting social status. The phonological impact of either is marginal. Spelling of Colonian can follow several standards. Pronunciation variations are allowed to show as variant spellings in all of them. Because the spellings of single words may differ widely between systems, listing spellings in examples of phonological nature is not helpful. Thus, only IPA transcriptions are used here in examples. Colonian is part of the continental West Germanic dialect continuum. It is a central Ripuarian language. Ripuarian languages are related to Moselle Franconian and Limburgish. Local languages of all three groups are usually not understood at once by Colonian speakers, but comparatively easily learned. Other languages almost always spoken by Colonian speakers today are the Rhinelandic and standard varieties of German. Mixed language use is common today, so that in an average speaker's awareness, Colonian lexemes are contrasting the two kinds of German ones as well. Colonian has about 60 base phonemes and some 22 double consonants and diphthongs, depending on analysis. Consonants With about 25 phonemes, the Colonian consonant system exhibits an average number of consonants in comparison with other languages. Notable differences with the enveloping German language are the absence of the fricative c and the high German affricate p, f. All Colonian consonants are pulmonic with the obvious exception of the glottal stop, which briefly interrupts the pulmonic airflow. For a number of speakers, syllable initial, v, has a number of realizations in free variation, beta, and w. While Colonian has only one lateral phoneme, L, it has a variety of allophonic realizations. Coarticulation leads to the so called clear L occasionally, but the dark or palatal variants are common in Colonian pronunciation. Arguably is the most common. Retroflex or velar variants are also possible. The phoneme may be uvular or velar. Because it corresponds to rhotic phonemes in other dialects and languages, many transcription systems represent this as r, though this is phonetically incorrect as r does not appear in Colonian. Some Landkolsch varieties of Ripuarian spoken outside the city have r, or instead of the Colonian, in certain positions, or throughout. Though often closely related, Colonian speakers consider these foreign sounds. X, which may also be a uvular chi, becomes voiced due to coarticulations or liaison. Nx anymore, Nxn, Nn, another one. The phones and j are, for the most part, no longer distinguishable, though they were different phonemes in the past. Acoustic discrimination between and j appears nearly impossible. Though transcribed distinctly by one group of authors, there appears to be only one possible minimal pair. Both words are rarely used and usually synonymous anyway. T downpour m, jate willow reed f, and are different phonemes, which is shown by minimal pairs like me me dat and me mix imp or e gout and e spray of waves. Acoustic discrimination between and is sometimes difficult, coarticulation and assimilation may even cause them to overlap, but articulation generally differs. The Rhinish documenta writing system does not distinguish between them, others most usually do. The phoneme exists only in the syllable coda it has the allophones j in certain positions occurring both with and without coarticulation. Whether the IPA symbol is a correct notation for the phone, is disputed. The phoneme has the allophone in certain environmental and prosodic circumstances, the phoneme has allophonic variations. Positional ones include j. Coarticulative variations cover a range from the standard English light to strongly velarized and or pharyngealized versions. The average colonian is darker and often spoken with the lips more protruded than English versions. Since the audible difference may be small despite different articulations, foreigners often confuse it with the phone. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Terminal devoicing. 
Colonian, similar to German, Dutch, and other West Central German varieties, exhibits a phenomenon called terminal devoicing or Oslautverhartung. In the word final position, voiced consonant phonemes lose their voicing to become unvoiced. In the absence of liaisons and coarticulations, only the unvoiced, or fortis, variant is pronounced. For example, the words zik side and z sides have a stem final. Consequentially, according to the Kolsch Akademie orthographic rules, they are written as sig and sig, respectively, while the more phonetic common, and read, spellings write sig and sig, respectively. <laughs> <laughs> Initial voicing For the phoneme, s, only, Colonian has initial voicing, quite like German has it. That means, s, never appears in word initial position, only, z, does. Where an unvoiced or fortis initial would be required, for instance in a word loaned from another language, t, s, is used, t, s, b, soup, from Old French soup, itself from Old High German suppon, or t, st squared, sorting, from the same word in Old Colonian, which borrowed it before 1581 from Old Italian sortier. Foreign words that are neologisms are usually adopted to colonian phonotactic rules when pronounced, for instance the English computerese term server appears as ZV or Zoe squared V in most instances, or even ZF among elderly speakers, at least. <laughs> vowels Half-long vowels I, y, u, e, o stroke, o, a, occur allophonically in syllables with Schlieften. There are also two semivowels, and, the latter of which is not phonemic. See also Colonian grammar Notes <laughs> <laughs>